Howdy do! There's beautiful beer you see before you is the Sam Adams Rogan Wolf, Rogan Wolf. I'm not exactly sure how to pronounce that. I do have some German in my ancestry, but I tend to take more after the Irish side because I'd rather be in a pub and I've never had the urge to invade Poland. So there you go. So, ta da! <laughs> Anyways, I digress. Let's move on. Uh, wow, Rye IPA. This was in the in the IPA Hopology pack, and I am a fan of anything with rye in it. I don't know why everything with rye has to be an IPA these days, but you know, I just love anything with rye addition to it uh, because I really enjoy the spiciness here right away. I, I certainly get that on on the nose, as well as some nice bright sharp citrus. And some, some pine-like notes. Let me read a tad from their bottle here before I get knee-deep in it, as it were. Sly with a cunning bite, it says. I am a cunning linguist. <laughs> um, this smooth, artful brew entices with its subtle sweetness, yet reveals a sharper side. Just like the handsome yet fearsome wolf who is appeased by a rye left in the fields in... German folklore. I'm having problems, man. <laughs> German folklore. Uh, the bold, citrusy, and piney character from the Atnam and Galaxy hops. Okay, well, that explains what I was uh, whiffing there. In this flavorful IPA is underscored by smooth, peppery rye spice, creating an utterly transfixing brew. Well, let's see if it lives up to all that. Wow, uh, wow, 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 that is nice. That's very nice indeed, yeah. Yeah, rye, you know, rye is one of those things that's not for everybody. You know, some people, you know, the thing is, I've had folks say, well, I don't like beers that have a lot of rye in them. But if you like a rye brew, well, that's what you're buying it for, not that teeny bit of rye. Uh, for me, yeah, I, I want to really know that rye is in there. I want to taste it, taste it, taste it. And that's when you can, actually. It really is there. Um, it's a beautiful color. Oh, it's a nice color. You know, kind of a hazy, I don't know what the hell you'd call that. Kind of a soft golden, maybe. Hell, I don't know. I'm kind of colorblind. Uh, it is nice on the palate. Kind of a medium mouthfeel going on. It's 7%, I believe. Uh, uh, I tried to find the uh, IBUs on their website, but it's not listed. nice malt so there is some sweetness for sure and then it's kind of met with that rice spiciness as long as those big citrus notes and some nice sharp peppery pine going on it's very nice it's a nice beer it's put together well um i don't know uh i don't know if it gets to outstanding but it's certainly very good and a fine representative of the style so the question for me is, well, would I buy it again? Uh, yeah, actually I would. Uh, this Hopology pack I thought was a great deal. It was only 26 bucks for, you know, a case of beer at Sam's. So, yeah, I would certainly buy that again. You know, it's just tough in this craft beer world, especially, you know, uh, there's a, many beer reviewers never buy the same beer twice. For me, I'm not, I don't really do beer reviews. It's For me, beer is about the enjoyment. So I do buy a lot of things twice. Because I don't, I'm not buying a beer just to do the review and move on, or just to do the beer video and move on. I'm buying it for enjoyment. I, every time I pop a beer, I'm not doing a video. You know? <laughs> In fact, most of the time I'm not. I'm, I'm, I'm enjoying the beer. I'm watching TV or watching a movie, or I'm out here on the patio doing something, or I'm with some friends enjoying a beer. You know, it's, it's, it's about the enjoyment. So I do buy a lot of stuff twice, and depending on the setting, you know, I want something affordable. This is certainly affordable. You get that case of beers for twenty six bucks, it would, and and you've got the, the six different styles. It would be great to take to you know a picnic, a barbecue, that sort of thing, to to let your friends try different things. So there you go. Sam Adams sometimes is kind of a hit and a miss for me. I rarely dislike anything, but I rarely think anything is outstanding. This is actually bordering on outstanding the more I drink it. Uh, I am getting some, the finish is very nice indeed. 
you get the, the sweet malts up front, and then I get that spicy rye at the end, along with some pleasant bitterness, um, uh, some, some nice citrus, a little pine, and, and I, I mean, typically get grapefruit, but I'm also enjoying some lemon. Uh, so it feels like lemon zest right at the end. It's very nice and beady, man. So, Sam Adams, Rogan Wolf, maybe? Who knows? If somebody knows how to pronounce that, I'm sure, I get folks correcting me the whole time. It's pronounced this way. So, if you are of German ancestry and you want to correct me, that would be just fine. <laughs> That'd be just fine, man. I don't give a rat's ass. Ugh.